Hello listeners, this video discusses four colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough written by black feminist American playwright and poet Ento Saki Shange. This work of Shange tells the story of seven women who have suffered oppression in a racist and sexist society. This work is a choreo poem. This is a piece which has a series of 20 separate poems which is choreographed to music that views interconnected stories of love, empowerment, struggle and loss into a complex representation of sisterhood. Shange was the first one to coin the word choreo poem. Choreo poem is a form of dramatic expression that combines poetry, dance, music and song. The term choreo poem was first coined in the year 1975 in Shange's work for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. Let us see about Shange. Shange was born in the year 1948 and died in the year 2018. She was an American playwright and poet. She is also a black feminist and she addresses the issues that relates to race, black power in her works. She is best known for her play for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough which was published in the year 1975. She has penned novels that include Sassafras, Cypress and Indigo. Lilane Betsy Brown. Shenge has written plays, poetry, novels, children's book, essays and non-fiction. Let us see an outline of this choreo poem. This is a piece of work which got a series of 20 separate poems which is choreographed to music that are interconnected with stories of love, empowerment, struggle and loss. All these elements are complex representation of sisterhood. The story casts seven nameless African American women. Their identity is identified only by the colors that they are assigned. They are totally seven women. They do not have names, they are nameless, but they are represented by colors such as lady in red, lady in orange, lady in yellow, lady in green, lady in blue, lady in brown and lady in purple. This work traces sensitive elements such as rape, abandonment, abortion, domestic violence. At first in the year 1974, Shange originally wrote the monologues as separate poems. She uses vernacular language, she has a unique structure and also uses unorthodox punctuation to emphasize syncopation. Syncopation is in music the practice of displacing the beats or accents in rhythm or in music. This work was also adapted into films. Let us see Shange's reason for titling this work as four colored girls who have considered suicide. This is a piece of work which is inspired by the events from Shanghai's own life. Shanghai has admitted publicly saying that she had committed suicide on four occasions. In an interview, she gives reason for titling this work. She says that once when she was driving the number one highway in Northern California, she has overcome by the appearance of two parallel rainbows. She had a feeling that she was near death or, or she was near catastrophe. Then she drove through the rainbow and she went away. And she had drawn the title from that incident. So the colors from the rainbow becomes the essence of the women in this choreo poem. This work is structured in a series of 20 to 22 poems. This choreo poem has many topics which is specific to black girls. 
who are coming of age and who are trying to understand their place in the world. Many poems in this work discusses sexuality and relationships. And some of the poems explored the socio-political challenges that black women faced at their time. Often in the narration in the poem, the speakers in the poem present their struggles. The speakers in the poem are the colored women and they say how they have overcome their struggles or how they have dreamt of being in other places. Since the poem is written by a black woman, Shange, and she wrote this poem for another black woman, another sufferer, and the play uses African American vernacular English, which is otherwise called as AAVE, so it includes many native words. Shange, instead of referring black, she uses colored because this term was accepted in 1970s. Shanghai, she said in her interview that she wanted to use colored because she wants her grandmother to understand her work. Let us see a brief summary of this choreo poem. At first, it has a poem named Dark Phrases. There are characters like Lady in Brown with lady in red, lady in blue, lady in orange, lady in green, yellow and purple. In the prologue section of the choreo poem, Dark Phases, this Dark Phases section begins with the lady in brown who describes the dark phases of womanhood. All she can hear are screams and promises. Each colored woman state where they are from and by stating their place they say that they are outside from their respective cities. And the lady in brown proclaims in the poem saying that this piece of work is all for colored girls who have considered suicide but moved to the ends of their own rainbows. The lady in brown then begin to sing children's nursery rhymes. She sings as Mama's little baby likes shortening, shortening. Then all the other ladies begin to dance as they sing a song, dancing in the street. The next section is graduation night. Here, characters like lady in yellow with lady in blue, green and red appear. The lady in yellow says it was her graduation night and she was the only virgin there. She says that she was driving around with her male friends whom she know right from her 7th grade in the black buke. She was laughing about her graduation. Buke is nothing but a car. Then there was a fight that breaks out. The lady in brown and the lady in blue leave and the other ladies out there they talk about their sexual preferences. Next section titled Now I Love Somebody More Than Here Lady in Blue with Lady in Yellow, Blue and Green appear. In this section Lady in Blue talks about how she used to participate in dance marathons. She says one night she refused to dance with anyone who only spoke English and throughout this poem there is a monologue. Lady in blue intervenes English and Spanish. She says during this time she discovered about blue clubs where she became possessed by the music. Then she ends her monologue by calling it her poem. The poem titled Thank You for Music to which she states I love you more than poem. She then repeats Amo masculine and the other women join her softly chanting. Next section titled No Assistance. Here Lady in Red appears. The Lady in Red addresses an ambiguous you. Throughout her monologue, she only uses you. She refers somebody as you. She says that she loved you strongly and passionately for almost eight months two weeks and two days and she loved you without any encouragement 
she finally decides to end this affair and leaves a note attached to a plant so those plant are watered by her every day since she met this person you the next section titled i am a poet who here lady in orange with lady in red yellow green blue purple and brown appear here there is a conversation the lady in orange began by saying that she doesn't want to write in english nor spanish but she only wants to dance she starts dancing she then says we go to dance to keep from crying and dying and the other ladies repeat her words then the lady in orange claims that she is a poet who writes in english who has come to share the words with you the next section titled latent rapes here ladies in red blue and purple appear here lady in blue says that it is so hard to press charges against a friend the other women who are listeners they begin to ask question to her they say that maybe it was a misunderstanding or the women who caused it or they ask her if she was drinking then the lady in red says that it is a society who believes someone is a rapist and if they are a perverted stranger then all the ladies talk about their male friends who have given them good smiles and who have bought them dinner however they all end up by raping them or raping other women in this section all the women share their experiences of having been violated by a man and they all quote a phrase the stranger we always thought it would be then the lady in red states that the nature of rape has changed the next section is abortion cycle hashtag #one here lady in blue alone appears the lady in blue sets her scene with tubes tables white washed windows and her legs are spread open in this part there is a monologue acting here she says that she could not bear to have people looking at her right then the baby had an abortion and she is left alone the next section is sachita here lady in purple with lady in green appear the lady in purple describes shikita's life is the bayou there is a reference of shikita which is an egyptian goddess of creativity love beauty and filth the second she was dressed up for the creole carnival celebration creole is otherwise called as creole day creole day is a reflection on the people's culture and their importance of preserving the island's heritage they dance through music and they also have good food the next section title toy scent here lady in brown appears the lady in brown describes that she has fallen in love with toy scent leo water she found toy scent in the library near the train tracks the lady in brown talks about entering a concert to see which colored child could read 15 books in 3 weeks and in the contest the lady in brown won but she was disqualified because she went into the adult reading room and she read about toy scent instead of reading the children's book the lady in brown says that she became obsessed with toy scent despite the fact that he was dead and she says he was her lover that is secret lover when she was around 8 age and the lady in brown wanted to run away to go to haiti with toy scent haiti is a country located on the island of hispaniola in the caribbean sea and on her journey the lady in brown meets a young boy whose name is Tyson Jones and now the lady in brown feels that she has met her real life Tyson and she leaves with him the next section is one 
pure lady in red appears she began to describe beautiful women who are wearing orange butterflies silk roses and aqua sequins this woman lady in red she is deliberate in all her actions she walked slowly to allow men to gaze her and she never returned their interest with a smile or or never acknowledged their cat calls she takes those especially tactful suitors to go home with her and in the morning she becomes her ordinary self by washing off the glitter and the grime from her night mm-hmm. before then she asks her lovers to leave and all the men would leave in a hurry and then she would clean up and put all her roses away she then would write about her exploits in her diary and then she cries herself to sleep the next section is i used her to love in the world here lady in blue appears lady in blue begin her monologue by explaining that she used to live in a world but now she lives in harlem and she says that her universe harlem is only 6 blocks she says that she used to walk all around the world but now she could only see a small and dirty size world then the lady says that she used to live in a world where she was nice and sweet but now inside the 6 blocks of life she finds life cruel and she is piled up on itself the next section is pyramid here lady in purple appear lady in purple joins the ladies in blue yellow and orange she begin to describe those women as her three friends whom she shared every aspect of life and all the ladies remember a time when they all were attracted to the same man but he only could choose one of them this lady in purple was loved by that man but she was worried if her friends could hold out one day she found the rose she left on his pillow is on her friend's desk her friend said that she did not know what was going on but the man said he was free then the three friends did not want to hurt one another and they wanted to know how wonderful this man could be then the friends hug and cry and they go to confront the man whom they find with another woman and all the women they cry and they comfort each other like sisters next section is no more love poems hashtag one your lady in orange appears lady in orange discusses a relationship that she left with she says that ever since she realized that someone would call a colored girl an evil woman a bitch or a nag she had tried not to be that person she tries to be joyful she finds herself in what she believes to be real and honest at she feels that the guy keeps going back to his ex lover then the lady in orange tried to move on by finding another lover but again she was not satisfied then she tried to avoid sadness but she found herself heartbroken by this man again she could not stand being sorry and colored at the same time the next part is no more love poems hashtag #to here lady in purple appear lady in purple speaks about her relationship to dance and men she deliberately chooses to dance with men who do not speak english who do not use pills and who use dance as an escape from reality then she meets a man who gave her everything those aspects of everything are dance fear hope and scar then she admits that she was ready to die but now she is ready to be herself and accept love then she says and pleads let me love you just like i am a colored girl i am finally being real the next section is no more love poems hashtag #3 here lady in blue appears lady in blue proclaims 
that all women are too emotional it could be easier if they are white women so that way they could make everything they could make dry and abstract with no rhythm and no relin for sheer sensual pleasure then the lady in blue states that they should try to control their feelings she then says that she has to meet up with her own pleasure and she finds that this makes her feel alone and does not know where to look to feel whole the next section starts no more love poem hashtag #for here lady in elo appears lady in elo claims that she had lost touch with reality but she used to think that she was immune to emotional pain later she realized that she was not an emotional person then she gave her dance but her dance was not enough she says being alive and being a woman and being colored is a metaphysical dilemma i haven't conquered it next section titled my love is too here ladies in elo brown purple blue orange red green appear all women repeat saying my love is too delicate beautiful sanctified magic saturday night complicated music to have thrown back in my face all the ladies begin to dance and chant together the next section title somebody almost walked off with ala my stuff here lady in green appear lady in green says that someone has taken all her stuff she feels that she is the only one that knows and can appreciate the value of her own stuff she describes her stuff as the way she sits with her legs open sometimes she has shoot up fingernails her rhythm her voice her talk her delicate legs and whimsical kiss she says a person who stole her stuff is a man she admits that she had given too much room for this man who has run off with her stuff by the end of the monologue she demands her stuff back from this man the next section titled sorry here ladies in red orange yellow green blue purple appear the ladies started to talk about all the apologies that they had received from men they give some example include he is a sorry because he does not know how she got your number sorry because he was high sorry because he is only human and sorry because he thought she could handle it then the lady in blue declared that she does not need any more apologies she then goes on to say that men should keep their apologies for themselves because she does not need them to soothe her soul she says rather than accepting apologies she is going to do whatever she wants she would yell scream and break things and she will not apologize for any of it the next section titled positive here ladies in red yellow purple brown appear lady in yellow purple brown red they participate in reciting the next poem about contracting hiv aids they all share and talk about women's experience then the lady argue about suspicions of cheating in the relationship the lady in elo tells her friends how she was happy in her relationship and tell her friends she told her friends that once she had seen her lover outside the gay bars then the lady in elo protests but her friend tells her to get tested two weeks later the doctor calls the lady in elo with her patient number #7qyg9 to inform her that she is hiv positive then the lady in elo confronts her lover who furiously tells that he is not gay and accuses her of cheating on him she even tells him to get tested but he gets angry and gets violent 
he then throws her to the ground and when she wakes up he is gone and she says and i was positive and not positive at all the next section titled a night with view while brown here lady in red and orange appear lady in orange begin her story of willy brown by saying that there is no air the lady in orange and red talk about crystal crystal is a lady whom bew pregnants bew also beats crystal almost to death and when he hears about her pregnancy he beats her even more in the past bew has wanted to marry crystal when she was 14 but now she laughs in his face saying she will never marry him and now she is married and she has baby and there are two kids navomi and kwam crystal gets a court order saying that bew has to stay away from her and her children bew then threatens crystal that she has to agree to marry him he threatens by carrying her two children and telling that he would drop the kids outside the window consequently as crystal disagrees for the marriage bew willy drops the kids out of the window and they die the last section titled a laying on of hands here ladies in red orange yellow green blue purple and brown appear the ladies begin their last poem saying that they are missing something they say a laying on of hands their hands are strong cool moving and they make them whole and pure then the lady in blue says she feels the gods coming into her laying her open to herself then she says that she knows about laying her body open for a man but still she was missing something finally all the ladies repeat the lines i found god in myself and i loved her i loved her fiercely they sing to each other and then they sing the same thing to the audience and they close into a tight circle with each other with all this the choreo poem ends with lady in brown modifying her statement as and this is for colored girls who have considered suicide but are moving to the ends of their own rainbows so this is how the performance of the colored girls end hope this video helped you if you have query regarding this please write it down on the comments below and if you have suggestion to make videos please write it down below thank you for listening